Good afternoon. This is Peggy. Peggy. This Pe- is yes. this is Paula. Paula, I tell you, I was named after my aunt Peg, and I know you you have a special aunt Peggy too. So. Oh, I do have a special aunt Peggy. Uh, I talked to her today, and I love her so much. And having that name, I know you got to be a good person. You know I am. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and Paula, before we jump ahead, I have to tell you, I've met you twice. I, I met you down in Lady and Sons when CNN was in interviewing you. So uh-huh. I met you then. But you came up to Indianapolis for a fundraiser back in 2011. And I took my mom that was 89. Uh-huh. Well, we, we had our photos taken. You called her precious. And Paula, <laughs> she told, and Michael grabbed her and gave her a hug. She would repeat <laughs> the story. Oh, my no. gosh, she believe. And she told me that was one of her favorite days of her life when she got to meet you and Michael. And I lost her about a year ago, but oh. she would tell that story to everybody, Paula. She just loved telling the story about Paula Dean called me precious. So, you know, you make you make a difference in people's lives. You really do. Well, Peggy, thank you. Uh, and I wouldn't have called her that if I hadn't have thought it. I know. Well, she, she so, was precious. Uh, I mean, I, she was almost 96 when she passed. So, but uh, And she was my travel partner to Savannah, too. So we, we, you know, I've been going out to Savannah for about 23 years. And well, I think the first time I went into Lady and Sons, I think it was like 2004 or 2005. So uh-huh. we, we've been coming down to Savannah for a long, long time. And we love Lady and Sons. We oh, just love it. Oh, Peggy, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I just love talking to all my friends out there that I hadn't met. Uh, y'all really uh, pull pull my heartstrings. Well, and I, I tell you, yeah, you, you uh, your whole family is so precious, and your thank brand you. new grandbabies. Oh, oh my, God, my I, goodness! I know. I follow Claudia on Facebook. Uh huh. I, I say a prayer every night for them. Thank you, uh, thank you. I went up last night, Peggy. And spent three hours with my little Amelia Ann. Uh, she was supposed to come home today, but she didn't pass the test this morning. Okay. So, so well, she's okay. she's still in the hospital, but the other two are home and okay. just thriving. But I rocked and held that baby for three hours last night. I, and I fully oh, understand. oh, I'm a grandma too. I fully understand. Yes, it, 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 it's you didn't think it could get any better. But it, it does. I know it does. It, it does. does. Well, I now have nine and I could lick the skin off of every one of them. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> understand. I, know. I, I, I only have one, but my Nikki is the world to me. Oh, and, my uh, gosh. Yeah. She, well, you know, just good. having one Peggy can make that very, very, very special. Uh, and he is. He's, he's a good kid. He's a yes. giving kid. Uh, had good role models with his mother and aunt and uncle. And he's such a giving kid. Oh, uh, how wonderful. He, how old is he? He's 26. Oh, he my goodness. He graduated from Purdue. And no. Was, uh, down in southern Indiana at a naval crane base. And uh, flies oh everywhere. Goodness. Just got back from Japan. And uh, just a good kid, but a giving kid. He's a good kid. In in that wonderful, in that wonderful, it really is. and like I well, said, you don't have to worry about. Well, did I show any partiality? You yeah. know, just having one, you don't have to worry about it. You just get to love them, love them, love them, love them. And, and that's true, and everything. So, and I know I'm taking a lot of your time up. Ian. No, honey, I'm I'm here to talk to you. So, Peggy, if I can just interrupt you for a second, honey, they're telling me that I've got to break for a commercial. Uh, because that allows me to talk to you. So hang on, I'll be right back. (laughs) The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. 
So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom-made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited-time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Okay, well, my heart is in the South, and I tell you, when I hit the South, I eat seafood twice a day. Yeah. And, sh- and shrimp is my favorite, but I will tell you, I'm scared to death to fix it myself. But I did, uh, I've got your air fryer, and I did pull out a couple recipes, the shambam shrimp uh-huh. and the air fried shrimp. So uh-huh. I'm going to try those this week, but a, a real quick question, if I just want to grill shrimp, I, I like a shrimp that's just grilled and I add hot sauce to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the easiest way. Do well, I saute it? Do I throw it in the oven? Or- I, I tell you what, Peggy, shrimp is the easiest of all proteins to cook. Okay. It's so simple. If you're going to boil your shrimp, uh-huh. like for a low country ball, you know, with the sausage and the corn oh, and yes. all of that. You would put those in for the last three minutes. Okay, three minutes. I mean, That's you, the key, isn't it? Right. You just want them to turn pink. And if you want to cook them on in your on your grill, I would I would recommend using a skewer or some okay. kind of basket. You know, put them in that. And okay, That's you know, because you don't want to have to turn one little shrimp at the time. You know, you want to no. be able to do it all at one time. Okay. But there is so many easy ways. I love to do what I call, uh, it's my version of a barbecued shrimp, but it has oh. nothing to do with barbecue sauce. Well, I know it because my daughter makes that because she lived in New Orleans. Yes. She makes that. And, yes. Uh, so how do you do yours then? Lord, honey, I can't I can't tell you because I, oh, okay. I finally put it together myself. Because I, when I was in New Orleans, I'd say, now, you know, what all's in this? What all's in yours? <laughs> so, you know I'll just, I'll check with my daughter. Because like I said, she lived in uh, New Orleans for uh, a number of years. And she does make it. And it comes out wonderful. So she, oh, she my not, goodness. She must know how to do it. Yes. Because well, I'm always afraid I'll cook it too much. There, uh, Phil just told me that there is a recipe for it on uh Positively Paula's okay. Facebook okay. website on a, on my website, Peggy. Oh, okay. So no, for I'll barbecue shrimp. So I, you know, I can I can tell you about how I did it. I start with a beer. Okay. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of beer. And about three of, and after I get through drinking that, I. <laughs> <laughs> No, it goes in the pot. (laughs) And then it depends on how many I'm cooking for. I'll put in two to four sticks of real butter. Okay. And I go out to my garden and I cut thyme, basil, and oregano. Okay. And I tie those up and I throw those in there. Uh, I add some olive oil. Okay, olive oil. I add like Old Bay or, you know, whatever I have here in the line of seasonings. But, okay. you know, that, and that's all I can remember right this minute. Okay. You know, no, I have great. to start doing things, you know, and then I'll say, oh, oh and garlic. Okay. I know I would have put a bunch of garlic in it. It's been probably six months to a year since I've made it. But well, I tell you, I am going to get my air fryer out this week. I'm going to run up to the grocery store and use your recipes as my grocery list. I, I really think I'll love the shambam shrimp because uh-huh. I, I, I like hot stuff. You like hot stuff? Yeah, I do. Oh, and, uh, you and Michael yeah. would have a good time eating yeah, together. <laughs> I know. And I, did, and I did read where Michael won the award down in Key West. So Honey, I, I follow, he yeah, won it. Won it. He won it after nine years, but 
you know, there's some men that's been in it 25 and 26 years. Oh, so uh, we felt pretty lucky that he only took nine years <laughs> to get there. <laughs> well, and that's true and everything. And I tell you, I'm heading down to Savannah uh, Friday, April the 26th for four nights. So, Wonderful. Uh, oh, yeah. And we always head to, you know, Lady and Sons. And then I buy so much at your retail shop. And then we'll go out to the Creek House. Oh, and, yay. Uh, yeah, I can uh, follow you online. And, oh, and, good. And, well, oh, yeah. as soon as we get the the date for April, because okay. I'm sure we'll do some book signings in April, you can go to my website and and check that out. And I hope maybe it's while you're in town. So, uh, if y'all have any questions, send them in, and you never know, uh, you might pick up the phone and somebody says, "Hey, girl, I'm Paula Dean." <laughs> Until next time, love and best dishes, y'all. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you. And they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.